Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Wednesday morning. Beautiful Wednesday morning. I'm up in Area 4 at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. The signs are still on at the entrance to the park saying red tide is present. So that means red tide is lurking out there somewhere. It could be along the shore, it could be offshore, but it's out there somewhere. We'll go have a look at the water. Check out the beach, see if we see any interesting shells. Another empty beach. Another quiet morning here in North Naples. One of our park rangers going by. Making our morning rounds here. We did have a nest right here in the middle of the beach and it looks like something got into it. Darn it. That's what's left of one of our little, one of our turtle nests here, darn it. Another one destroyed by raccoons. I don't smell any of that nasty odor you get from the red tide, the red algae. It smells good out here. Still see some dead fish on the beach. The rangers picked up the majority of them. Rangers and volunteers. There are still some dead fish on the beach. You can see some of them down here. The water doesn't look too bad. See here where the sun's shining. You can see the bottom. Fairly clear right here. Still seeing signs of fish though washing up on the beach. A couple down here. We are still dealing with red tide. Now I've heard stories, people are telling me that it's much nicer down to the south. The further south you go, the better it gets. They say there's people swimming down there by the pier. Marco Island's supposed to be really nice. No signs of red tide down there. Tiger Tail Beach. Just Apparently, the further north you go, the worse it gets. The other day when I was out here, we saw quite a few dead crabs on the beach. There's another one here. 
not just fish, all kinds of marine life are washing up on the shores here, unfortunately. walking south right now. Another dead little crab down there on the beach. Ugh. So sad. I'm curious. To what's going on we have a nest up here the raccoons got to this sea turtle nest it doesn't look like they got to this one fortunately this is nest i don't know what nest number this was here 31 maybe i don't know it's right in the middle of one of the pathways coming to the beach since the nest was made there, the pathway's kind of gotten overgrown with vegetation. So that was one of the little pathways to the beach right there where she made her nest. Looking around, looks like I have the place to myself here this morning, again. So sad seeing our beaches empty like this. Definitely. These are new fish that have washed up on the beach here. What a shame. Down here, there's the shell of a little leopard crab, a little calico crab. What's left of it? Little calico crab, beautiful little crabs. Horseshoe crab. A dead horseshoe crab. Like I said, this red tide is not showing any mercy. It's not selective in what it kills. Keeping the beach clean lately has been a never-ending task. As soon as they get it cleaned up, it's a mess again. Look at that, nobody out here on the beach, just empty. Up in North Naples, deserted. Florida 
fighting conch shell down here. We usually see quite a few of these. These are pretty common on our beaches. Uh, that's what's left of a, a stone crab right there. The remains of the stone crab. Not a very common sight on the beaches, stone crabs. They are actually a prized catch here in Southwest Florida, stone crabs, the stone crab claws. To see them dying from the red tide, that's pretty sad. There's quite a lot of shells out here on this little spit of sand out here. This is the south end of Area 4. jumping out at me right now. I'm just gonna walk around here and then turn around and walk back. Walk out on the other sandbar. The water is just not what it should be. It's not as disgusting as it was last week, but it's still definitely not where it should be at. Sad, sad. the side of a banded tulip shell right there. Wish I had found that in one piece. Those are beautiful shells, the banded tulips. That's just the side of the banded tulip. The tide's just starting to come back in. Beautiful morning, other than the red tide <laughs> that's been plaguing us now for Lord knows how long. And there's proof of the red tide. Still dealing with the red tide. All these fish, these are a big bait fish that have washed up on the beach. But we've seen just about every species of fish that we have in our Gulf waters washed up on the beach. They've seen everything from sharks to dolphins to snook, tarpon, grouper, snapper, you name it. Sadly, it has been found dead on our beaches here. What a, what a shame to the dolphins. It's just horrible to see a dolphin dead on the beach. Well, I presume most of you saw 
the picture of Roy and I that I posted yesterday afternoon. Roy is definitely on the road to recovery, but it's a slow and long road that he's on. It's going to be a while. And he'll probably never be back up to 100%, unfortunately. Let's just keep the prayers coming for him. And he really appreciates the cards and the people are sending cards and letters and he loves it. It really gives him encouragement and that's what he needs. Sometimes he gets really depressed. And can't figure out what's going on and why he's even hanging around. So the more cards and letters he gets, the better. Spotted any interesting shells yet? So quiet out here without all the happy beach goers. Of course, being in the middle of the week, it is it does tend to be a little quiet out here normally in the summertime, but generally we'd see some people walking the beach, jogging on the beach, but not this morning. Hear the birds calling out. I thought my, our friend Scott might be out here this morning. Thought he was gonna come and pay us a visit, but maybe not. There's a little, little worm shell down here, the worm tip. Haven't seen in many of these on the beach. Usually the beach is covered with these. Lots of little birds sitting out here on the sandbar out here. I don't want to scare them off. I want to go out there and look for some shells, but I don't want to disturb the birds. And they're sitting right where all the shells are. and get around them. You see there's lots of shells piled up out here.
We've got, there's some gulls out here, some terns, some little sandpipers. Beautiful weather, beautiful blue sky. Let's see a big broken lightning whelk down there on the ground. What's left of a lightning whelk? That's what's left of a lightning whelk. Lots of dead little fish along here. Lots of broken shells, lots, another big piece of a broken whelk shell. Actually, it's like maybe a piece of a broken crown conch. Yeah, it looks like a crown conch, piece of a crown conch. There's a beautiful, beautiful fighting conch shell down here. Really nice patterns. Look at that. Look at the stripes on that fighting conch. Beautiful shell. That is a gorgeous shell right there. Old, the tips broke off, but look at the, look at the stripes on it. Wow. Looking for maybe a moon shell or some murex shells. The birds have kind of taken over this sandbar. So we don't want to crowd them. We want to give them their space there. All along this outer edge of the sandbars, whereas you have a really good chance of finding some nice shells. Although I'm not seeing any right now. Beautiful out here. These are all seagulls right here in front of me. 
All gulls. I don't know why we don't see any dead birds along the beach with this red tide. I guess they're just smart enough not to eat the dead fish. As you can see, the water is just not as clear as it should be out here. crystal clear. Well, it should be crystal clear. Lately, it hasn't been. Lately, it was, gosh, a couple weeks ago, it would look like mud. It was brown. It was terrible. It looks better than it did last week, that's for sure. We still, definitely still have the red tide out here. Can't smell it. Not having any trouble breathing. Not burning my eyes or anything. But I still see signs of fish washing up on the beach, dead fish. in area four. You should recognize those pine trees by now over there. Boy, the other day there was a ton of shells over here. Now there's nothing. It's amazing how the currents work and the tides. Dead fish. There's a dead fish floating there in the water. Not a pretty sight. That's disgusting. There's a big snook that was on the beach. Now it's out in the water, rotting out there. All those bones are going to become a hazard. People walking out there. It's a shame. It's a shame to see things like this. Take a look at my videos. Go back through the years. Go back through my beach walks and look at how beautiful this beach was. It's gonna come back. I'm sure it will come back. When? That's the million dollar question. All we can do is keep our fingers crossed and pray. Hope somebody finds a way to 
restore this. Hopefully the Lake O situation will get under control. People stop being so greedy, start caring about the planet we live on. Where are all the neat shells this morning? There's lots of shells along the shore, but... I haven't seen anything yet that I wanted to pick up and stick in my pocket. water has been so flat for the past week. Look how calm it is out there. Incredible. Hmm. You can see the tide just starting to come in here, starting to fill this little pool behind the sandbar back here. Walk back this way and see if there's anything on the back side of this sandbar. Well, interesting. Very rarely do I go home from the beach with empty pockets. We usually find one keeper. 
One nice shell to take home. There's a dead, just to show you that this red tide has taken its toll on everything. There's a dead clam. There is a dead clam. It's not just fish, it's everything. There's a dead clam. <laughs> Boy, the other morning there were just so many shells along the beach here, right where I'm walking. Found a nice moon shell and a murex shell. Now there's nothing. See a broken moon shell. Lots of little sand dollars and piece of a moon shell over here. There's the eye of a moon shell or a shark eye. Lots of little sand dollars again out here. Remember, we saw lots of them on the beach last week. They're still out here, all dead, the little baby sand dollars. A shame seeing them. Quite a few of them on the beach though, unfortunately. You just see them all kind of buried in here. There's one over here. There's a little one over here. Everywhere I look, I see signs, I see reminders that the red tide is still lingering here. It's a little piece of a worm shell. Piece of a worm shell. Piece of a lightning whelk over here. Well, I miss my beach friends. I miss Roy and Scott and Linda, Tom and Karen. Take a walk up here. There's a little sliver of beach left here I think I can get through. Let's see what it looks like up at Wiggins Pass this morning.
look at the water here with the sun on it. It's clearer than it was, but still cloudy. Thankfully, the red tide smell isn't around here. I'm gonna come out and breathe. Oh, that's sad. We used to have a sea turtle nest up here. Looks like the raccoons got to it, too. It was way back up and in there. Unfortunately, it looks like the coons got to it. Darn it. They have destroyed most of the nests now on the beach. Darn raccoons. Everything's got to eat, though. The raccoons are starving because there's nobody here filling the trash cans. There's nobody coming and picnicking and leaving trash behind for the raccoons. The remnants of a big drum fish, maybe a grouper. Not much left to that. Ugh. Surprised the water hasn't reclaimed that. Hopefully the shells we've hung for Roy are still on the tree here. Yep, there's a couple of them. There's one we hung for Roy, our good friend Roy. Still there. Wonderful. Let's see if any of the other ones are here. Yep. There's the one we hung the other day. There's the shell we hung on Monday. Very nice. Please keep Roy in your prayers. Remember to check here every once in a while. Go through my timeline here at Southwest Florida Television to search for updates on Roy. There's a piece of a big cockle shell down here. Piece of a big, beautiful cockle shell.
we're rounding the bend here up at the north end of the park. Up by, we're up by Wiggins Pass now. Interesting, the water seems to be a little clearer up here. Hard to tell though. It's kind of an illusion with the light shining on it. Curious if there's anybody out here fishing this morning. Not really. There's a boat heading out of the pass, though. Couple boats heading out, another one behind it here. Lots of little shells up here at the pass. Lots of little shells. But still nothing grabbing my eye here, catching my eye. No fishermen up here for obvious reasons. A big dead horseshoe crab in front of me here. I've seen a handful of boats going out. I don't know how far out they have to go. Get out into clean water. really sad as you walk along and then you look down and you see the carcasses of dead fish in the water. It's so beautiful out here, the weather. So oh, beautiful. And yet nobody 
enjoying the beaches because of the red tide. What a shame. up the Coquihatchee River and still I see um, boats continuing to come out of the pass here. Water gorgeous though, you look at the colors, it's so beautiful. But then you gotta remember that the red tide is still out here. Terrible. The colors are just beautiful. Pass up in North Naples, Florida on a Wednesday morning. Beautiful up here. Beautiful, beautiful. Right here in front of me. Just look at that water. That's what the water is supposed to look like. Right here in this little patch. Look how clear it is. That's what it should look like up and down our beaches. I'm going to start walking back down the beach, back to where we started from. Yeah, and there's that one of many dead horseshoe crabs.
the other day, you might have heard Roy talking about how he comes up here to the beach and gets on his hands and knees and prays. Well, this is where he does it, up here at Wiggins Pass. He comes up here, anywhere out on this point, gets on his hands and knees at sunrise and says his morning prayers. He's been doing that for a while. That's where he does it, up where Wiggins Pass is up here. The sunrise is beautiful in the morning, even with those condos over there, it's still beautiful. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. See a boat out there, some fishermen. They're still catching fish out in the Gulf. You just gotta know where you're going. Some of our charter boat captains, they're doing well. They're taking their guests out and catching fish. Missing the red tide. So right here, a solemn reminder that the red tide is still here. Still with us, as we see the four dead fish floating in the water. Yeah. get down the beach here before the tide comes in anymore while there's still a little sliver of land to walk on. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. Prior to this outbreak of red tide, you're gonna find some really beautiful pictures and videos. Some really neat dolphin encounters. Roy and I have been so fortunate to get up close with some of those beautiful creatures here at the beach. I haven't seen them lately. I'm sure they're avoiding the red tide, the dolphins. Still a beautiful picture when you look out there into the Gulf. Beautiful colors. actually sort of smell the red tide right up in this area. I got a little whiff of it there. Not real strong. Roy's shell up here. That big cockle shell that we hung for him and said a prayer. Please continue to keep Roy in your prayers.
try to post a little update later today after I see him, after I visit him, see how he's feeling. As I said earlier this morning, it's he's definitely on the road to recovery, but it's a long, slow road. Nothing's 100% when it comes to medicine. There's a helicopter hovering that looks like down off the beach. Down to the south. Not very high, maybe 25 feet off the water. I don't know what that's about. At least it looks like a helicopter. Hard to tell from here. My main concern was just getting past these trees before the tide came in up here. Got another little whiff of the red tide here. Not too strong, but definitely still lurking around. Can't get over how flat that water is. Look at that. It's so calm out there. Very deceiving when you look at that water. Well, kind of a bummer this morning. Really didn't find any shells, not taking anything home. It was very quiet and peaceful again out here. Nobody on our beach. Very desolate. I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Be sure to hit the like and follow buttons. I promise this beach here at Del Norwegans is going to recover. It's going to get back to normal, back to its old beautiful self. Can't wait.
remember the beaches are supposed to be a lot nicer the further south you go here in Naples down towards Marco Island this is North Naples things get a little worse as you go further north Just keeping our fingers crossed Hey, nobody pays me to come out and do these little updates and beach walks. If you want to make a little contribution, it always is appreciated. Every little bit helps out. Helps pay the phone bill and whatnot. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Like I said, every little bit helps. Those of you that send something, Thank you so much. It's amazing how many generous people there are out there in this world. You can never hear about them. All you hear about is the bad people. We got a lot of awesome friends here on Facebook. Awesome friends. Always Introduce yourself if you join into the live feeds. Let everybody know where you're watching from in the comments. There's been some great friendships made here on this Facebook page. Long-term friendships. Long distance. Friendships. And there's people from all around the world have tuned in here and have become regular viewers. It's so cool. But again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Wherever you're watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.